hey there welcome i'm bell this is another video so today i don't know where to start um this is a video that i never thought i would make because first of all i i'm not really comfortable um talking about this because a lot of it is not my place to talk and i'm just gonna explain the situation and i'm not gonna like accept any apologies because it's not my place to do so and i never thought i would have to make this anyways if unless you've been living under a rock for the past few days you've seen what the internet has become so this the first thing that I would like to say is this video is not about cancel culture it's not and as much as some people would like to blame all these influencers mistakes on cancel culture um, I not sure I agree with it actually I'm sure I do not agree with it so if you'd like to see a video of a person a regular person because I'm not an influencer I'm just a regular person if you don't know me I'm a teacher um, who is studying to become a flight attendant I'm not American I'm not English um, in fact English is my second language and I live in Brazil and here being a flight attendant is a big deal so I've been studying to become one and in the meantime I'm a teacher I teach children and as a person who teaches children <laughs> and has been doing that for such a long time for almost 10 years yes I've been a teacher for almost 10 years and I I've been a part uh, of I've been a, a big part of these kids lives and I've seen kids grow and it's just really hard for me to see some influencers um, sexualizing kids I feel even <sighs> I feel disgusted by some of these things that I've seen <laughs> recently and I don't even know where to start well so yeah I've been talking very superficially about all the situation that's been going on so I, I think I'm gonna start with Jenna Marbles so I've always been a fan of Jenna Marbles I mean not always not in the very beginning no I I've been a fan of hers since I don't know like since she broke up with Max I don't know if um, if you've been a fan for that long but she had another boy boyfriend uh, named Max and then they broke up and it was fine it wasn't like a huge drama or anything and then um, uh, Jenna and Julian got together and they're still together they're awesome and I really like them so um, some of the videos that she made in the past I had no idea existed because as I told you guys I've been watching her for um, not that long for a long time but for not that long so anyways she um, I think last week she made a video called uh, a message and it's basically an apology and kind of a final video for her I don't know because she said that she's going to take a break from the internet and maybe she will never return so that's what she said um and in the, the video is is really um hard to watch i felt because she shows in the videos she shows in the video <laughs> the videos um the problematic videos that she made and they were bad they were really really bad and i'm not a black person i i do not i'm not black or asian because she also offended um asian people in the video so it's not my place 
to say that I accept or deny her apology. It's not. So yeah, I'm just gonna say that she made a video and she, uh, in the video she said that she was very, very sorry and she's maybe going to leave the internet forever. Um, I don't know if she's going to do that, but if she is going to do that, I understand why. I like her recent videos, but it's not about that. It's about something much, much bigger. And with everything that's going on, I don't think we should be concerning about Jenna Marbles going back to the internet. Honestly, we have much, much, much bigger problems to worry about, being completely honest here. Um, so she made a video and a lot of people, if you scroll down to the comment section, you'll see a lot, a lot, and if I say, if I'm saying a lot, I mean a lot of people blaming uh, cancel culture. Let me tell you something. The reason for Jenna Marbles making that video is Jenna Marbles. The video... <laughs> She explains that in the video. She said that there were like a couple of tweets, not a lot of tweets. There was no like <laughs> Twitter tr um, trend like hashtag Jenna Marbles is over party or something. There was nothing like that. She wasn't canceled. The internet didn't cancel her. She canceled herself. So the reason for Jenna Marbles making the video is that she realized on her own or through like a couple of tweets that did not go viral by any means <laughs> so she realized uh, that on her own she saw uh, I hope that she really really saw how bad those videos were and she took them down and apologized and that's what she did and this is not about cancel culture what you should hate is racism. What you should really hate is a sexist, sexist, sorry, I'm really angry, sexist jokes. That's what you should hate and not cancel culture because this is not the point. This is not the point. If you are one of those people who went to her comment section and said, oh, I blame this on cancel culture, you're part of the problem. Let me tell you, you're part of the problem because Cancel culture is literally nothing, nothing when we compare cancel culture with all like the endless list of problems that we've been having um, on the internet. So yeah, Jenna Marbles is something I wanted to discuss. Now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about Shane Dawson. Oh my God, that was the biggest the biggest <laughs> disappointment for me the biggest like I think ever ever because I I'm a person who again I'm an old lady <laughs> so I, I know that I look a lot younger than I actually am but I'm I'm an old lady so yeah I actually started watching Shane Dawson later on so again, I had no idea. I had never um, heard his podcast or watched his podcast. I had never um, seen any of his old, like really old videos. I had never watched his old channel. I think it's called Shane Dawson TV or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they, I actually started watching Shane Dawson when he started making his conspiracy theory videos. That's when I started watching him because I really like like mystery videos, conspiracy theory videos, um, like uh, videos about crimes and stuff. I, I'm really into those uh, kind of um, twisted things. So that's when I started watching Shane Dawson. And actually last year, when he made a collab, like the um, makeup um, collab with Jeffree Star, and everybody was going crazy on the internet. Some people loving it. I mean, a lot of people loved it because obviously it was sold out. 
and so some people were like really supporting that he um, made that collab with Jeffree Star but other people not the majority of people but there were some people saying like oh Shane has never really been into makeup before so why is he doing that so he's money hungry like what's going on he's just faking it for the internet and honestly I was not surprised because people do that all the time I mean Frozen has a palette and the <laughs> I don't know but correct me if I'm wrong Frozen is a movie <laughs> and but it has a palette um, I think it has multiple ones I'm not sure but Frozen has a palette I mean Nickelodeon has a palette <laughs> like it's not so shocking to me that a lot of people do that for money so I mean if he wants to do that to do that for money I don't know just do it and obviously it worked um, but the thing is I know that some other uh, point that people were saying is um, he's also hanging out a lot with Jeffree Star who hasn't been always a hundred percent nice <laughs> so he has said some very 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 horrible really horrible things online and I understand, I completely understand why people are so angry at Jeffree Star and I really understood, like when I saw those tweets, I really got to understand why people got angry at Shane for hanging out with Jeffree Star. So the thing is, I kind of, um, I don't know, I felt really weird after um, he put out those um, videos. So I... I kind of um, I stopped watching him after that like being like straight to the point I stopped watching him after that and I actually the last video of Shane Dawson that I watched was the Chuck E. Cheese like different um, sizes <laughs> of pizza stuff video I don't know pizzas with different size slices something like that um, that conspiracy theory is was the last video of Shane that I saw so yeah um, so the last few days oh my god the past few days have been really hard for me as someone who used to watch and used to like Shane because I've seen <sighs> some videos that you know you know what they say that there are some things you just cannot unsee and these things I, I will never be able to unsee <laughs> and I wish I could because there was a podcast of Shane where she talks about actually a dream that he had he oh like jokingly talks about this jokingly he's not even serious he jokingly talks about this like it's Sick. I feel sick to my stomach to repeat those things right now so he in his podcast he talks about how, how he had a dream that he I think he kidnapped I'm not even sure I I don't know um, but I, I think like as far as I can remember he kidnapped a woman and he like tied her up and he made her say like a lot of racist stuff and by the way this woman was black in his dreams and he made her say like a bunch of racist stuff and then after that he would cut her tongue out and he would say this is the last thing you've ever said oh my god i i feel sick to my stomach just um just repeating that so um, another thing that he said in his podcast is that he, again, jokingly talks about um, how, like, the P word, um, like, because uh, the, the thing is, um, Jessica, who was his co-host, I don't know, or she was there for that day, I'm not even sure, 
but this girl named Jessica she was there and she was talking to him about how um, uh, there was like a case that she saw online and it made her feel sick actually she was saying how horrible it was and how sick it made her feel that she saw something online about a uh, keyword who um, raped a baby I, I literally feel sick I feel like I'm going to throw up and the baby died after that and Shane left about it he left about it and he said why is it because he's male genitalia um like um crossed his head something like that like he said went to his head to the baby's head or something and he laughs about it and i i feel sick i feel really really sick disgusted and disappointed and also there were like a lot a lot and i mean a lot of blackface of chain um doing blackface like a lot multiple times of chain making um videos um doing blackface and that's sick that's really really sick that's disgusting and i, I don't know but i feel like a lot of shane's audience especially back in the day was children and as someone who is constantly around children i feel like this is even more disgusting because I know that what children see and present and they what um, what they live in their childhood is a huge impact in their personalities so these videos oh my god they're so gross so disgusting and again again um, this is not <laughs> something that you should blame on cancel culture this is not cancel culture did not cancel Shane Dawson Shane Dawson Shane Dawson canceled himself because he made those things he canceled himself and also there were also like a lot of videos like he touching himself while um, looking at a poster of Willow Smith and even Jada Pinkett Smith tweeted something last week and it was like insane and I I'm totally um, team Jada Smith um, on this obviously because it was sick and disgusting and this is something that's like criminal in my opinion at least I don't know how um, like uh, how crimes work in America because I'm not American but in my opinion allegedly in my opinion <laughs> this is something that should be criminal if it's not it should so um, what I have to say is do not blame this on cancel culture and something else is Shane made a video apologizing for his actions right after Jana, Jana made a video apologizing for her actions so I have a question now if Jenna had not made that video apologizing for her actions would Shane make a video I don't know because right after Jenna's video everybody was like oh these people should apologize and that people should apologize and a lot of people were saying that Shane should apologize and he should but was that apology genuine I don't know I'm not gonna <laughs> judge him on that because again that's not my place to speak so if it is your place to speak I advise you to tell me in the comments below what you think um, what you think of Jane's apology video and um, also I kept thinking um, Jenna did not uh received a bunch of tweets talking about it as she said it was a couple of tweets that made her think but Shane was literally being cancelled on the internet he was being cancelled he was being dragged on the internet in fact <laughs> he was being dragged on the internet 
So, if he wasn't being dragged, would he still make the video? I don't know. I don't know. That's something that keeps, like, crossing my mind. So, yeah. What I have to say is, do not blame the, these influencers being cancelled on cancel culture. They are being cancelled because they made mistakes. And they uh, not only made mistakes, they made, like, huge mistakes. They made... I don't know if I should say this. I don't, in my opinion, this is just my opinion. I cannot prove any of this. So allegedly, in my opinion, Shane committed crimes. In my opinion, allegedly, Shane committed crimes. I cannot prove, but this is in my opinion. He, com he committed crimes. And yeah, he should be held accountable. He should be held accountable. Um, so yeah, that's what I had. I have to say. Do not blame these influencers. If you are a fan of Shane Dawson, don't blame him being cancelled on cancel culture. He is being cancelled because he cancelled himself. He made mistakes. He made racist jokes. He made jokes about babies dying because of rape and he just made jokes about it and it's not funny it's not freaking funny it's freaking gross and disgusting and yeah that's what i have to say i'm sorry if this video was uncomfortable because i'm sure it was um please tell me in the comments below what you think about the situation because i don't know to me like in my head it's just so clear what i think it's just really really clear and i don't know just tell me in the comments below what you guys think and i see you next week for a brand new video bye